Pacers hosting the Spurs, and the Pacers are 7.5 point favorites. The over-under is at 238.5. The Spurs are plus 245 on the money line, and the Pacers are minus 300. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to tip-off tomorrow. Thank you for everyone who has joined the Discord and who continues to join the Discord. If you've not done so yet, go to my website, rossportstalk.com. Click on the membership tab. It is a paid membership, but it will give you access to my best bets and to my stats. Now, head-to-head, the Pacers are on a two-game winning streak against the Spurs. They are 6-4 and four against them in their last 10. The underdog has covered the last three games they've played against each other. The underdog is both 7-3 and three on the money line and 7-3 and three against the spread. The underdog has just won the last three games that they've played against each other outright. The over is 6-4, and four, the road team is 8-2, and two, and the under 238.5 is 7-3. and three. In their last handful of games that they've played, there has been a total of 206, 29, uh, 229, 253, and 239 points. That's the Spurs' last three games. The over has hit in the last three games that they've played. And for the Pacers, they've lost three out of their last four. There has been 217, 259, 237, and then 259 points. The over has hit in their last three games as well. As far as the lineups are concerned, we are supposed to have Sochin, Brynum, Johnson, Wembenaya is listed as, or Wembenyama is listed as questionable. Collins is uh, reported as in, in for center. Then we have Halliburton, Mathern, Brown, Toppin, and Turner. Those are supposed to be the starters, but the NBA loves to hold off until 20 minutes before game time to actually confirm the lineups. If... If Wemby doesn't play, I don't think the Spurs win this game. And that's probably why the Pacers are seven and a half point favorites because he's questionable. I'll take the Pacers with the money line. I'll take the Spurs getting the points on the off chance that he does play because seven and a half, I I don't think that they're going to beat them by that. And I will go over because neither one of these teams have been playing defense lately. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.